Hey everybody, what's going on? I am Greg Sussman, joined today by Tom Vecchio of FanDuel, who's here to not break down football. What's happening, Tom? Yeah, it's that time of year. Fancy players are here for football. A lot of things are pretty much set, so we're going to shift over to our NBA for a little bit. So let's break it down. We're going to do this every Tuesday the rest of the month before we dive in in 2020 into the NBA. So let's break it down for tonight's NBA slate. Let's begin with some of the top studs that are on the board. Let's begin with arguably the league MVP at 20 years old. Let's start with Luka Doncic. Yeah, Doncic is having an amazing season, and really everything sets up. Is it going to be Doncic tonight? Is it going to be Harden for people tonight? I think you can do both in the same roster tonight. And this matchup for Luka Doncic tonight is amazing. First of all, a 232 point over under is something we always want to be attacking. And currently with this starting five the Mavericks have right now, he has a 39.5% usage rate, putting up 1.88 FanDuel points per minute. We already know he's a walking triple-double waiting to happen, but there's so many other factors going on. First of all, it's a pace-up spot for the Mavericks. They come in 17th in the league when it comes to pace. The Pelicans are up at fifth fastest, which is phenomenal. Extra touches on the ball for a player that's already hyper-productive is amazing. Uh, and the Pelicans are actually dead last in the league when it comes to FanDuel points allowed per game to point guards at 51.9 this season. So you're spending all the way up. You are getting a player in a pace of spot with a massive usage rate in a phenomenal defensive matchup. He really just checks all the boxes tonight. Luka Doncic checks the box every night because of what he does. As you described, he, he's just so good at so many different things. He, he's been a beast this season. He's only getting better. Luka Doncic, price right tonight and should be into your lineups. But if you're not building around Luka, or maybe you want to get multiple studs and go with the Stars and Scrubs strategy for tonight, you can also get James Harden in there, who wasn't the player of the week last week. That was Carmelo Anthony. Despite scoring 60 points in three quarters, James Harden, he, he's also really good, Tom. Yeah, like you said, uh, 60 points in 30 minutes and didn't win you know, player of the week uh, as Carmelo took it. Listen, you can say what you want about Harden. Uh, you want him in your lineup at any time you can possibly afford him. You actually look at that game, and he made 20 free throws in that game. If you subtract the 20 points he had from his FanDuel score of 82 points, he would still be reaching 5x value, subtracting 20 real points, which is amazing. It is a pace down spot uh, for the Rockets going up against San Antonio tonight, but posting a 30% usage rate, 1.64 FanDuel points per minute. He gets to the line. He takes a ton of threes, double-digit three-pointers in almost every single game in this recent stretch. You want him in your lineup. At $12,000, I don't think the $400 is that much of a difference getting up to Doncic. But I, like I said, I think you can do both of them in your lineup tonight. Two players who could easily go for 60-plus fantasy points. Getting both Luka Doncic and James Harden in your lineup is certainly a way to just jump on it very nice and early. We're going to have to get to the value plays a little bit later on and tell you how you can do it. But James Harden, always a lock for a monster number here on FanDuel. Moving on to another stud that we like tonight. That brings us to Brandon Ingram. The Pelican star has been fantastic this season and is in a good spot tonight. How come, Tom? Yeah, $9,300 for Ingram tonight. And like you said, he's really having a nice season, really coming into his own. And at small forward, I actually like the idea tonight of fading LeBron, just having no exposure to him, taking the $2,100 savings and going to Ingram the 232 point over under for Ingram versus the Mavericks is so, so much better compared to LeBron against the Nuggets, which is at 209. Uh, so you take the savings and then you go to Ingram. It is a pace down spot for the Pelicans, as I mentioned with, with Luka. It's a pace up spot for him. Uh, but we have Dallas allowing the fourth most FanDuel points to small forwards this year at 43.2. And you just look at Ingram's game log. And it's 35-plus minutes in basically every single game. He's taking not only double-digit field goal attempts in every game, but he's up at 18, 19, 22, 25 field goal attempts in basically all these games. And they still have Drew Holiday on the court. So the pace of this game should be great. The matchup is great. And you're getting savings compared to LeBron, which I know a lot of people just generally always try and reach up for. So I'm taking the savings, and I'm going with Ingram tonight in what should be a very, very fancy-friendly environment. Take that savings under 10K for Brandon Ingram. The minutes are there. The usage is there. The pace is there. It's a perfect, perfect spot for Brandon Ingram to continue to go off and continue the fantastic season that he's been having. All right, if you're going to get all these studs in there, you got to find some value plays. So let's begin in San Antonio, where Trey Lyles fits that mold. How come? So he fits the mold because as of now, you know, we're recording this around noon Eastern, LaMarcus Aldridge is still listed as questionable for the Spurs. 
Um, and we know Trey Lyles isn't probably going to make the starting lineup, even if Marcus Aldridge is out, but he should see an increase in, in minutes. It's probably going to be, uh, you know, Rudy Gay stepping into the starting lineup for the Marcus Aldridge, but at 3.6K, Lyles only needs 18 FanDuel points in order to reach 5X value, which I think is doable. When Aldridge is off the court this season, Lyles is posting 1.01 FanDuel points per minute, which is great for a guy who's that cheap. He only has a 12 12.5% usage rate, which is not great by any measure. But we have the Rockets allowing 48.3 FanDuel points per game this season, which is the fifth worst in the league. So we take a high-scoring game, which it is, a pace-up spot for the Spurs, which it is, a cheap player, and he's being productive when he's on the court. It kind of all lines up for him to you know, maybe hit 22, 24-ish, 25 FanDuel points, exceeding 5X value, and he's 3.6K, which is $100 above the minimum. It's really a great spot for Lyles if LaMarcus Aldridge is out tonight. Again, as Tom mentioned, recording around noon Eastern, which means we don't have the final report if Aldridge will play or not. You've got to wait to lineup slot for that. But if he's not playing at $3,600, Trey Lyles should be able to do just enough to hopefully get you the 18 to 20 points that you need to reach 5X value and make him well worth putting in your lineup. Over to Orlando, where we've been looking at Cam Birch, we've been looking at Mo Bamba, who have been starting in place and getting more minutes in place of Nikola Vucevic, who has been out for a while. Why do you like Bamba over Birch tonight? You know, Bamba, Birch, who do you want to go to tonight? And, you know, for me, Bamba's a little bit cheaper. And he's seen over 20 minutes in three of the past five games. Like you said, the minutes are there recently with Vucevic out. And this is a great, great pace-up spot for the Magic. They are dead last in the league when it comes to pace. So, in theory, when they play anyone, it's a pace-up spot. But the Wizards are third fastest in the league when it comes to pace. So, this is a, a big jump up. Going up against the Wizards, who are allowing 60.4 FanDuel points per game, which is the second most in the league to centers this season, is really just an amazing, amazing matchup to attack. And he needs 22.5 FanDuel points to reach 5x value. He has posted 22.4 FanDuel points in four of his last five games. The matchup, the pace up, the cheaper price tag. We're working with everything with Bomba tonight. And he's 4.5K. Take the savings with him. Take the savings with Trey Lyles. And you're going to be able to get up to Luka and Harden tonight. And there's no Aldridge here tonight. And we already know, obviously, there's no Vucevic. Getting Harden and Luka and Brandon Ingram, finding a way to get them all in our lineups, that certainly bodes well for our FanDuel scoring tonight. Obama, a fine value piece. One last player to get to that brings us to the other side of this game with Washington and Jordan McRae. Why do you like McRae tonight? $4,000 for McRae, and there's a lot of interesting things when it comes to Jordan McRae. First of all, he is a clear, clear bench player. He plays behind Bradley Beal. He is not a starter. Uh, that is clearly no. But he has eight or more field goal attempts in five straight games, five or more three-point attempts in three of his past four games, and generally plays when Bradley Beal is off the court. And I went back and looked at some of the game flow logs for their past few games uh, against the Clippers, against the Lakers, and against Phoenix in this recent stretch they had on the West Coast. Uh, when the games get out of hand like they did in the, against the Clippers and the Lakers, Bradley Beal is sitting basically the entire fourth quarter, and McCray is in there the entire fourth quarter or 10-plus minutes. So he's not competing for usage, and in that time, he's putting up .91 FanDuel points per minute which is great. So we have a cheap player who shoots threes and is generally reliant on pure scoring. But if this game gets out of hand, you know the Wizards aren't the best team in the league, we know Bradley Beal will likely sit, and then McCray will be out there just taking all these shots. He needs 22, you know, 20 FanDuel points to reach 5X value. He's put up 22 in four of his last six. I love the shot volume for a guy coming off the bench at $4,000. As you said, McCray's a clear bench player. There is no question what his role is. He plays behind Beal, but that's okay. I don't want him on the court with Beal at the same time because then he won't score. Jordan McRae, in his role at $4,000, certainly fits into our FanDuel lineups tonight. That's going to do it for us here on today's FanDuel Hurry Up. It was awesome getting back in the NBA flow of things. Tom, I look forward to doing it again next week. Yeah, a little more NBA to uh, close out the year. It should be good. All right, tomorrow I'll be joined by Jim Sonis, and we'll take an early look at week number 14 from a DFS perspective in the NFL. Have a great night. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.